Hey everybody and welcome back to Gear Facts and a particular welcome to Mike Lambert who sent me a message asking for a tutorial on the G1ON or Gion as I call it from Zoom. Thanks for your message Mike, let's get right into it. First of all, just select any patch from the 50 or so that there are to choose from. For the purpose of this tutorial I've just chosen J8, the 7 string boogie, just because it's a nice middle of the road sort of patch. <laughs> Okay, so how is this patch constructed? Well, as you can see across the bottom here, we've got four effects in action. You can have up to a maximum of five. If you have all five running, sometimes that will cancel out your option to use certain other effects, depending on their complexity. But as a general rule, you've got five effects in a row. The natural order of things, or the generally accepted order of things, is to have a bit of noise reduction at the beginning or right at the very end. A drive effect fairly early in the chain modulation effects later in the chain, delay and reverb right at the end of the chain. So that's four major components, and then having five in a row gives you a bit of extra flexibility to shape the sound any way you like. So to begin editing a patch, there's a dial just below the screen, just out of your picture here, but you'll know what I mean if you have a G1ON. And as you rotate, you'll see it'll actually go through each of the effects, enlarging them and giving you the title of each effect as you cycle through to the right. Then it jumps over to add effect here or delete effect, the garbage bin there. So if I press enter there for example, I'm in delete mode and it takes me back to the beginning of my effects chain and once again rotating the dial I can delete any of these effects. For some reason I seem to have two noise reductions there at the beginning. Then we've got parametric EQ and a drive effect. Over here see a little guy running out of a door, that's exit obviously and if we want to bail out of that effect cancelling mode then we just press enter on the exit there and we're back to our main mode. So once again just dialing there, cycling through each of the effects. So as I mentioned I've got two zoom noise reductions for some reason so I'm just going to go to delete so I just press enter there. Are you sure you want to do that? Press enter again and that's gone. So it's going to sound exactly the same because we haven't actually done anything yet that's going to modify the sound. So, if I scroll to the right a little bit, I've got the parametric EQ there, which is an interesting effect. Press enter there. Wait a minute. Let's get out of that delete effect mode. So now I'm back in my normal play mode here. Parametric EQ. So what it happens now is if I press enter, it's going to go in and actually edit the parametric EQ. Pressing enter again will go into the specific parameters of this parametric EQ. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you that with the directional keys, press up to go through a whole series of other effects and down. The list is massive. There's something like 89 effects in here. There's our noise reduction again, slow attack, compression. Sometimes you might see a processing limit reached, which means there's simply not enough power left in the digital processor to process an effect of this particular kind that's faded out. So you have to forget about that one and choose something else. So, going back to our parametric EQ, there's also a graphic EQ there, which actually I prefer, so let's go into that one, press enter, and we'll see here that we've got the title up on the top left there, that's the graphic EQ, and then pages 1 and 2, or tabs 1 and 2 and 3. To access each tab, we use the directional keys on the right hand side again, left and right. So going to the right, it's changing between each parameter, and then onto tab number two there. Keep looking to your top right of your screen. I'll go through the individual parameters again. And now we're onto tab three. So on tab three, that's our master level. Clicking back again to the left, the exact opposite. Now it seems that on our parametric EQ here, everything's pretty flat. So let's have a bit of a listen to our sound. And if we want to change some parameters, we have to press enter again underneath the arrow. We had an arrow up here which has now gone down to actually changing the value here. There's a lot of use of the enter key on the G1ON. Sometimes you can think you're in the right spot, but you actually have to press enter one more time to get where you want to be. Anyway, let's turn our dial and raise that up to about seven. Back to the directional keys on the right hand side of the keypad. I'll click right again and I'm going to give it even more treble. I usually like quite a lot of trebly sound because my guitar is very bassy and it brings out a bit more brightness in it. Let's try a bit more middle on that one, which usually has a strong impact on the character of the sound. The 
guitar needs a bit of a tune, but you get the idea. Anyway, this tutorial isn't about equalization, it's about how to construct a patch on the G10N. So let's just press the home key way over on the left, and that'll take us back to our patch. We've edited the parametric EQ. Let's move on to the drive there, exactly the same. Press enter, it'll show us the pedal there, press enter again, and it'll show us the individual parameters that we can change. Left and right keys do the same through the tabs there. Whole lot of parameters that can be changed. I'm just gonna go back home again. What I'm gonna do this time is go right over to add effect, press enter, and we've got five different categories that we can choose our effects from. Once again, I'm just using the dial to rotate through and choose from each of the categories. If you choose mod and special effects, for example, that doesn't just limit you to that particular category of effects. It just starts you in that range of effects. So let's press enter there and find a suitable place for our effect. Generally modulation would come after the drive effect. So for now, I'm just gonna put it right at the end in position number four. So by default, it's given me tremolo as the first effect choice. And once again, our up and down directional keys will put us through a whole range of modulation effects that we can choose from. Let's say we wanted to keep it nice and simple. Let's just do a bit of chorus. We'll go back to the home page. I'm going to reduce the intensity of that distortion because excessive distortion with chorus is not really to my liking. So back into the BG drive effect. Press enter again so that we're into individual parameters. I'm gonna press enter again to control gain. Pull it right back. Hopefully we'll end up with a nice sort of crunch sound now. Simulated tube, we'll raise that a bit. And of course when you reduce your gain, things tend to go a bit quiet, so I'll raise the level. Okay, sounding pretty good. There's no need to save the patch. Just press home, it's automatically saved. So at this point, let's assume that I'm completely happy with my patch as it is. This is a good rhythm guitar sort of sound. But what happens in the middle of the song where I play a little bit of a solo bit or there's a change in my sound? Well, the best way to deal with that is to press the menu button, which is just below your directional keypad. And scrolling down here, you'll see that we do actually have a save option. What this allows us to do, if we press enter, is to save our existing patch, J8, which was the seven string boogie sound, into another location. I'll press enter there. Asks me if I'm sure, just use the dial and the directional keys to select your answers. That's complete. Now what I've got now is J9 and J8 being two identical patches. Let's edit J9. Once again, turn the dial. I'm gonna add a bit of delay on this one. Press enter in our delay category, which conventionally would go right to the end, although you can be creative with this pedal. There's a lot of different ways to do things, but I'm going to keep it conservative for the sake of this demo. So I've got delay at the end now. What does it sound like? Choose a different one. So as I said before, no need to save the patch. It is saved already. So if I'm in J8 and I'm doing my rhythm guitar thing, all I've got to do is press my up pedal and go to J9. And I've got a change in my sound that I can use to change the dynamics of the song as we go ahead and play it. So this opens up a broad range of opportunities to construct a song that has a dynamic flow to it. And we can change the sounds as we go through by clicking the up and down select pedals right at the bottom of the G10N. So there you go, that's your basic rundown about how to construct a patch. Let's go through once more, rotating the dial. It goes through to add effect, delete effect. If you keep turning, it then goes to effect chain. 
In there you can change the order of these effects and see how it sounds and experiment with it. Like for example, putting phaser before your drive sound will create a very different sound to having a phaser after your drive sound. So there's definitely something to experiment with there. Press enter. See the magnet at the top there? Once again, using the dial, I can go through and have a look at my effects chain, a little bit of a closer view on this one. And I could try, for example, what it sounds like to put the drive sound, press enter. My magnet's got it, and I can move it back and have it before the graphic EQ. Press enter there. How does that sound? Press enter, put it back. It actually sounds a little bit more lively if I put it before the graphic EQ. So little changes like that can have a big effect on your sound. That was a very, very simple example. You can expect things to be much more dramatic when you really begin to experiment. Back to the home page again. Continuing to turn, we've got patch settings, which is some master controls. Press enter, and you'll see the title screen for patch settings. Press enter again, and we've got the master level just for that patch, not for the entire pedal. Turn over to the next tab there, and we've got the title. You can change the title by moving along with the direction keys on your keypad. Then you have to press enter to change a particular character and then use the dial to change that. So again, a lot of pressing of the enter button. Then back to the home screen. And that ends my little tutorial about working with patches and effects on the G10N. Please leave a big thumbs up for this video or leave a comment if you want to ask any questions or discuss it any further. I'm always happy to talk about guitar effects. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Gear Facts.